Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today I'm going to show you a case of full thickness tender Achilles tear. A 53-year-old male patient came with the history of a sports injury. He was having a friendly get-together program and while playing soccer with his old friends, he got kicked by one of his friends and got severe pain and swelling at the ankle. It was about two weeks back and uh, he was facing some difficulty in walking. Fortunately, the friend kicked him was a doctor and seeing the condition, he sent him to us for an ultrasound examination. You should always keep doctor friends who will kick you but will give you a very good solution. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the inserting point of the tendo Achilles. It looks quite thickened and hypoechoic. Here is another picture of the tendo Achilles. You can see it's thickened and the continuity of the tendon is lost here. You can see there is a gap where the fatty tissue is inserting in between the two ends of the tendon and they are not fixed together rather they are arranged anteroposteriorly. So here is the full thickness gap and the both ends are relatively thicker and hypoechoic indicating tendinosis. Again another picture where you can see the gap and a few fluid collection around the ruptured ends. Again, a little bit magnified view and you can see the tiered ends, also a little bit collection. The surrounding soft tissue looks a little bit edematous. Here is another picture and you can easily see the full thickness ruptured area and this is one end going downwards and one end going upwards. And these are the fats here. And the picture and you can see the tiered end lying anteroposteriorly. And the picture with the disruption of the tendon at this part. Another panoramic picture and you can see the tendon looks quite heterogeneous at this part with some discontinuity indicating the tear side. This is the inserting point here. A lot of pictures that we have seen already, now we want to go for the video. So here's the video you are waiting for and you can see this is the tear side, this is the tendon disrupted at this point. You see some collection and fat thickening here. The ends of the disrupted tendon looks quite thickened and hypoechoic indicating tendinosis. Another picture of the tear. The fluid should be a little bit more in comparison to the injury here you are seeing. But the patient came after two weeks, so already he has got some medications. Now again, another view of the full thickness tendon tear. Make sure when you're reporting a patient with complete rupture of the tender Achilles, you should always mention the distance between these two ends. If it is up to 3 cm, we give it to the type 2. Type 1 is the partial tear. And if you see the retraction of the tendon and the gap between two tendons more than 3 cm, it should be type 3. And if it is more than 6 cm, there will be a huge gap and we'll call it type 4. So we'll go with the classification a little bit later on the remember part of our session. Here you can see the gap is obviously less than 3 cm. You don't have to measure it always like 2.3 cm, 1.2 cm. It's not necessary. By eyeballing you can easily see that it is less than 3 cm gap. 
So it will be a type 2 full thickness tear of the tender Achilles. Here's the adjacent subcutaneous tissue looks quite edematous and you can see the tear tendon. Here's another picture of the full thickness tender Achilles tear and you can see the gap in between two ends is obviously less than 3 cm. We have put color Doppler and you can see there is no severe vascularity here but the vascularity of the soft tissue is a little bit increased. Here is another picture of the surrounding subcutaneous tissue edema. And the picture of the full thickness tear, you can see the surrounding fats look thickened. Last picture of the thickened ends of the tendon with the fat inserting in between the two ends of the tendon. So, in summary, the left tender Achilles of this patient shows a complete tear with a gap between two edges measuring less than 3 cm with a continued change of the tendon. The two separated ends show thickening and hypoechoic echopattern favoring tendinosis. Surrounding mild collection and subcutaneous tissue edema are also present. So these features conclude it as a case of full thickness tender Achilles tear with surrounding mild collection and tendinosis. Now the take home message. We have a Kuada classification of the tender Achilles tear. We have already described it a little bit. So we have four types. The type 1 contains the partial rupture. Type 2 to 4 are the complete rupture of the tendon. And if you see the gap in between two ends is up to 3 cm, we call it type 2. If it is more than 3 cm, we go for type 3. And if it is more than 6 cm, we go with type 4. So our case is of type 2 Achilles tendon tear. And you can treat it with end-to-end -end anastomosis. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and obviously try to follow us on other social platforms. Try to visit imagingstudy.com. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.